Hello and welcome back students to our next lecture number 10 in our ecology lecture series. So today we are going to see about the actual type of biomes out of almost 8 biomes which we are going to see. Okay, So one by one we will see which are the biomes which we will study and the first biome we will complete entirely today with the perfect and entertaining diagrams and the images that is the tundra biome. So before that let's see what were the types of questions which were earlier asked we have seen this previous year question so the upsc was asking about the biome its physical biological characteristic its adaptations and the problems associated associated right so for that now we have uh, the actual going to start with the actual part of this uh, the entire terrestrial biome which we have seen uh, the introduction part which we have seen in the last lecture okay so we have seen the 13 level organization in the last level uh, last lecture but as I have told you that from today, we are going to see or we are going to focus on only the six level organization only because that is what you will find in most books. Okay. So in the six level organization, we have seen that the six level organization has been divided into the six part. That is the biosphere, biome, ecosystem, the community, population and the organism. So one by one, we are going to see. We have already covered biosphere in the initial part where we have seen the lithosphere, hydrosphere and the atmosphere. Okay, We have seen the various parts, even we have seen the animals which were living inside. Right Now let's see the next part. Now let's see the next part. We have seen the first level of the level organization. Now we have to see the six levels of organization. Ka part hume dekhna hai. So in that we are going to start with the biome. Okay, biome se start karenge. So as I have told you that this is our going to be a new pattern of our lectures so that you will have an idea that where you are in that particular point okay to have a continuity in your point okay this part which we have added okay upar ka, jo bahut sare log utilize bhi karenge, add bhi karenge aapne lecture series mein, because as a lecture के स्लाइड में ये जो पॉइंट्स हमने ऐड किए इसकी वजह से हमें ये पता चलता है कि लेक्चर में या फिर पॉइंट पे हम किस पॉइंट पे हैं अभी ठीक है सो दैट आल्सो रिवाइज यू लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग ओके यू आर गोइंग टू सी दिस थिंग्स मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन योर स्लाइड सो दैट इज आल्सो गोइंग टू द क्रिएट अ विजुअल इंपैक्ट इन योर माइंड ओके सो दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू रिमेंबर द पॉइंट्स व्हिच आर देयर इन द योर सिलेबस पॉइंट राइट सो लेट्स सी in the biome, the biome will be divided into the three parts. That is the basically the introduction. Okay, what is this biome? Okay, that is only a short introduction. And after that, there are two types of biomes are there. These are the terrestrial biomes and the aquatic biome. Okay, two prakar ke biomes hai, jo hume study karna hai. The terrestrial biomes are the major one. So terrestrial biome hum pam, kam, pehle complete karenge. Okay, the terrestrial biomes are the major one. So we will complete the terrestrial biome first. Right. So right now don't talk we will not talk about the aquatic biomes okay uh, we will first see the introduction of the biome as such uh, entirely and then we will directly move on to the terrestrial biome okay so if we see the biome okay this is the diagram of actually uh, the terrestrial biomes sorry different biomes like the tropical forest savanna desert okay the temperate biomes the tundra biomes okay so what this is biome the word which is go going to be uh, read by the biome okay it was uh, suggested by an ecologist that is the frederick edward okay frederick edward me ye suggest kiya tha, okay and if you want to define the biome then it is just a large ecosystem okay you can see this is a large ecosystem okay yeah, whatever these different biomes are there now we have we have we want to uh, define these biomes now so these are nothing but what as almost this biome is containing entire indian peninsula and all these myanmar and all the countries right so it is a very large ecosystem okay so in which what is going to be there there will be the various organisms will be there okay there will be various plants and animals will be there and there will have a particular climate okay this area will have a particular climate to the definition you can again add that they will have specific temperature specific rainfall or specific precipitation specific humidity specific composition of the biotic life specific soil composition specific water resources you can add anything in that definition 
I have just summarized that in a one word. That is the particular climate. Okay, so the climate which will composed of different things that will be a particular for that particular biome, right? Although these are the various types of biomes are there, but we are going to see almost each of them one by one, right? So after this introduction, very short introduction is there. We are going to move on to the actual part which we will have to study, and actual part which is also ask. In the exam, जो exam में पूछा भी जा चुका है, that is what terrestrial biomes. Okay, so the terrestrial biomes is again divided in various points. Okay, see as I have told you that every point which we study, we study it in points. Okay, then this terrestrial biome is again studied in different parts. Okay, or different points, and in which point this terrestrial biome should be studied, that is dependent on Obviously, the questions which were previously asked. Okay, as UPSC was asking about the physico-chemical or the physico-biological characteristic of a particular biome, so that's why I have given you uh, what you can say a point under the terrestrial biome that is the physico-biological characteristics. Okay, as such, we will see the terrestrial biomes. Uh, what you can say a single point of. Physical biological characteristics, and then we will divide this uh, the entire terrestrial biomes in different types. Okay, बहुत सारे types में हम ये terrestrial biomes को divide करेंगे. Then we will see each one of these biomes. Okay, but before that, let's see first what are the physical biological characteristics are. Simple side, I have already enlisted it. Okay, they are going to be whatever these physical biological characteristics are there. They are nothing but depend on the uh, the atmosphere, the climate, the soil which is there, the biotic life which is there, whatever the pressure, the temperature, precipitation. On all of these factors, these physical biological characteristics are depend. Right. Then this is the terrestrial biomes diagram. Okay. so you can see if you want to remember this, this is the very much important diagram okay then you will also ask sir how we will be able to draw this diagram in the exam in the exam mein aapko iska simple version hi draw karna hai okay you will have to draw because this will fetch you surely more marks okay so instead of using color you can di directly draw something like this okay and name it as ice or here you can draw something like this with a single pen only yeah? And name it as then grass. Okay, you can draw here like again ice mountain. Okay, or the snow on the ice. Then you can draw this specific what you can say coniferous shaped plants here. Okay, which are specifically found in this uh, the subarctic region. Okay, then in this region you can again give these grasslands. Okay. Here you can draw a diagram like this, okay, which will look like uh, what you can say a cactus or the uh, desert plants, okay. That will mean a desert. This area will mean desert. Here you can draw a plant like this, okay. So this will be a savanna where only a little number of or very less number of plants are there. Here then again, this tropical forest are there, okay. So these type of representative diagrams you will be able to draw in the exam, okay? And you will have to draw only the representative diagram only, okay? Don't try to draw these kind of colorful and uh, this what you can say. Uh, I have drawn multiple number of trees. You can you can draw one or two only, okay? Don't try to draw that number of trees, okay? Not only that, instead of drawing it any here any. what you can say the plants and here you can directly name this areas here okay temperate grassland desert okay aisa bhi aap diagram bana sakte ho you can make a diagram in a kind of flow chart only okay not drawing anything which is shown here okay you will just name savanna then you will name desert okay because what is the ultimate aim behind this okay ye hame kyun dena why we will have uh, why we want to give this diagram okay we want to give this diagram because we want to show this different number of temperature conditions from hot region to the cold region from wet region to the dry region okay those who had or those who have a kind of a better drawing skill they can draw at least some of the part okay uh, a plant 
uh, which is looking like cactus here okay uh, coniferous looking like trees here okay or grass here but those don't have okay you can only give this name only only give this name tundra here taiga here temperate forest here temperate grassland here desert here because even if you give that name that will also again simply uh, signify what the different location that uh, the temperature is going to be in, uh, decrease from this point to this point and the uh, the what are these uh, the content of the water that is the it is going to be decreased from this point to this point okay so you are drawing desert here if you are writing desert here that means here the the amount of water or the precipitation will be the lowest here you are you are writing uh, this uh, writing a tropical forest so as we know in the tropical forest highest amount of precipitation is there okay so that can also be done okay because this is not that kind of diagram which will for which you will give uh, or you will get the diagram for drawing this particular shape of tree this is not any animal which you are drawing okay koi animal nahi hai yahan par okay it's not like an unio pila paramecium aisa koi shape nahi hai it's not any shape for which you will get a mark okay it is just for an information okay so instead of this drawing all of these things you can just give the names here okay now we will move on to the next part that is the characteristics of these terrestrial biomes as i have told you we have to see the general characteristics so these are some of the characteristic these are very much simpler okay that the temperature is going to be uh, variable okay the high low temperatures will be there okay so whatever the heat which will be gained okay it is also going to be gained and lost rapidly okay so because of these temperature uh, these fluctuations whatever these diurnal and seasonal temperatures are there or fluctuation fluctuations are there from high temperature to the low temperature they are very high in this uh, this terrestrial biome then whatever the soil is there okay it's going to support the life so supportive soil is there it will have nutrients into it then the whatever the species are there they are going to interact amongst themselves uh, in the form of predation mutualism parasitism sometime these species will help themselves so uh, these amongst themselves or sometimes this uh, one species will uh, predate on other right so that kind of interaction is there of the uh, the species and at the last whatever the living organisms is there which are present in the terrestrial biome specifically they will leave a particular mark on the terrestrial area okay koi bhi agar terrestrial particular area hai koi bhi region hai so obviously when a uh, organism is living in that particular area it will not like floating in the air okay he will or he or she will be walking on that terrestrial region so it is going to leave a particular mark in that particular biomes region right so that is just an introduction part of the terrestrial biome okay see biome ka introduction tha ye now we will have to see the actual part hame hamara jo actual part hai different types of biome that we will have to see okay now we have seen here we were looking at this but now this terrestrial biome is going to divided into the eight biomes okay ab ye terrestrial biome eight parts mein divide hoga these eight parts are these okay ye eight eight biomes hai jo humne dekhe dekh lenge right so these are those eight biomes which we will have to see okay so in art biome se kaun sa biome hai first obviously the arctic biome is the first later on we will see the rest one okay but which are these biomes arctic biome alpine biome forest biome tropical savanna biome grassland desert wetland and mangrove these are the biomes which we will study you will see this slide multiple number of times so that at that time we will remember even this all the eight biomes which are there that is what the significance is okay even if you don't try to remember by looking but by looking at multiple times you will remember at least out of these eight you will remember six without any reading that is the benefit okay that is what the signif or main uh, uh, the aim is there behind creating such format of the lectures right so the arctic tundra is the first biome which we are going to see okay so this arctic tundra is like this region okay near this arctic pole right so it is almost north of the 60 degree latitude jo hai uske north mein aayega ye region this will come to the north side of the 60 degree latitude and between particularly arctic oceans and the polar ice caps which are there in the northern america okay 
and the Europe. Okay. In the Siberia also. Okay. Siberia, Europe, you know, north side, you know, whatever the yellowish part is there, no? all of that is what? All of that is Arctic tundra. Right? Not Arctic is not only the those uh, the species or Arctic tundra is not only this does not deal with the only that part which is uh, there like the Arctic ice. Okay, sip Arctic ice ki upper hi jo part hai wo nahi Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra has this all the other regions okay of these continents, okay the northern sides of these continents, right? So now let's start with this. Then the what are the again uh, the other details of this Arctic tundra are right. So as I have told you, see. We have seen these that these are the these are going to be the eight part or eight biomes which we are going to study. Okay, now I will remove the upper part. Okay, and I will just focus on the part which is from this terrestrial biome only. Okay, so that's why terrestrial biomes have been shifted to the upper point. Now that the second part is these eight biomes. Out of this, the Arctic biome or the Arctic tundra is what we are studying right now. Now each of these biome. हर एक बायोम जो हम यहां पर स्टडी करेंगे और ईच ऑफ दिस बायोम विच यू विल स्टडी हियर विल बी डिवाइडेड इनटू द फिजिको बायोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर फेस बाय द बायोटिक लाइफ एंड द एडेप्टेशंस ऑफ द बायोटिक लाइफ यू नो बिकॉज़ द क्वेश्चंस वेयर आस्किंग दीस थ्री पॉइंट्स ओनली ओके सो दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव फोकस्ड ऑन दीस थ्री पॉइंट्स ओनली On all of the biomes, okay. हर एक biome का ये हम point देखने वाले हैं, physical, biological adaptations and the problems, okay, of every biome, okay. So out of that, first the Arctic biomes part is there, that is the physical, biological characteristics. Now let's start with this physical, biological characteristic of this Arctic tundra, okay. Arctic tundra का physical, biological characteristics है, it is given in these different part that it is a fragile ecosystem okay tundra jo ecosystem hai wo fragile hai it's not a kind of a rigid like an uh, this tropical forest then it is the winters whatever winters are there in these ecosystem or sorry in the biomes are very long and cold not only that whatever the summers are also there no summer bhi kya hote bahut hi chote and chilly hote and the location as i have already told you on the north of the 60 degree latitude right Now, under the physical biological characteristic only, we are going to see the biodiversity which is there in this tundra biome. Okay, is ke under, koon koon se animal rehte? What are the other the animals and plants are living? Okay, as very harsh conditions are there, so already very less biodiverse condition is there. So, बहुत ज़्यादा biodiversity यहाँ पर नहीं है because already there are very harsh environmental conditions are there. So, the animals or the plants will find it very difficult to survive. So, that's why the biodiversity is kind of less, right? so the flora okay or what are the plants which are there like this reindeer moss is there okay the erica plants are there right so the other grasses are there okay the grasses are like uh, these reindeer uh, moss okay then the uh, this heath plants okay a type of the plant is like the erica various other grasses and sedges and mosses are there okay yahan par bahut sare grasses and mosses hai not in the occasional some of the dwarf birches are also going to be Found in this tundra. Okay, tree. Whatever the large number of trees are there, you will not find such number of large big trees in this tundra biome. And some of the very dwarf plants, smaller plant, are going to be present in this tundra. Okay, so these are some of the flora which is associated with this tundra biome. Okay, three to four names are there. You can remember at least three to four names, right? Now, once we have seen the plants, so we need to see which animals are there. If we see plants, then we need to see animals. Okay, so animals are easy to remember. Okay, we can remember, imagine these animals which are there in this tundra. Okay, all of these such things are there. 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 Okay, all of these such things are Double twice the time for making this uh, the uh, no, the slides. Okay, whatever the uh, time which I require for making the notes, almost exact uh, the same amount of time is going for making the slides. This much presentable, but even if it is taking, it is unnecessarily increasing the length of my lectures and unnecessarily increasing the length of my course. But I think this is going to help you. This is going to make the our aim came into reality. to make the zoology one of the best scoring optional okay 
नॉट मोर देन 2024 2024 तक तो हमारा ये जो एम है वो सक्सेसफुल होगा ही कोई ना कोई आप में से ही होगा जो ये रिजल्ट देगा ओके बिकॉज आफ्टर पुटिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस एफर्ट्स मेकिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग सो मच इजी ओके सो मच रीडेबल अंडरस्टैंडेबल ओके and giving all the efforts to concise to uh, collect all of the information from the different textbooks i am decreasing your time so please utilize this for the fullest please utilize this additional amount to get qualify in the prelims to use use this additional time for your gs preparations reading newspapers and give minimum time for these optionals go through these notes only i tell you you will be able to score more right so these were the animals okay so you can give the reindeer musk ox the arctic hare fox bear wolves okay in summer some of the flies and mosquitoes also are also observed right so these are some of the fauna which is associated with this in the physico biological characteristic only we will give we will see some of the parts that what are those part which is making tundra okay tundra kaise banta hai yaar aur aur aise kaun se part hai jisse tundra banta hai okay which are these part first part is the lack of trees okay yahan par hame trees bhi nahi dikh rahe koi okay can you see any trees no so that is the first cause okay the why the trees are there maybe the perma because of the presence of the pres perma frost these perma frost are the uh, as we know these are this solid ice okay having temperature like Uh, less than two degrees Celsius to or zero degrees Celsius, so they are frozen up to the more than two years. Okay, so they will not allow the roots of the plants to grow deeper. So that's why they will resist the uh, the what you can say uh, the development of the plant. So maybe one of that reason is there. Okay, this permafrost is not also that the cold soils also. What are the soils are there? There are very much cold. Okay, इतने cold soils है कि वहाँ पर कुछ उगता ही नहीं है. Okay. The whatever the seeds which are showing, these seeds will not be able to sow there. वहाँ वहाँ पर वो sprouting नहीं कर पाएंगे. They will not be able to sow there in that soil because it is very chilly and cold soil is there. Okay. See, as we know, for the enzymes in that seeds to act, okay, for that enzymes to be able to sow and to give a rise to a formation uh, of a plant, they will require certain particular temperature. Okay. A part at particular temperature only the enzymes which are there in that seed will get activated. But because of the lower temperature in the soils, these enzymes does not get active. Active in the enzyme, so this will say what will happen? The seeds will fail. So that's why we are not finding any trees and other parts. Okay, whatever the grasses are there, they are able to survive. They are able to uh, this what you can say this uh, the to be active in that particular temperature. So that's why you are seeing that number of uh, the the grasses. But you will not see the plants because of these limitations. Okay. so this is one of the factor which is making this tundra okay not only that the extreme cold okay how can we miss that okay extreme cold ko kaise miss kar sakte ye bhi to ek factor hai jo ki tundra ko tundra banata hai right so see this is the part of geography as we already know that whatever this arctic circle is there okay in this december solstice or in the winter what is the case whatever this northern area okay whatever this northern area is there arctic region is there it is tilted to the axis of the earth tilts like this right so this entire north region is what you can say you can see it is tilted from sunlight okay sunlight aati hi nahi hai is particular northern side pe right so because of that the temperatures falls to a very great extent okay bahut sara jyada aur bahut hi kam temperature hota hai so at that temperature the life finds it very difficult to survive okay even in the summer summer mein bhi dekho kya hota hai even in the uh, summer whatever this earth axis is there or the arctic region is there it tilts toward the sun but you can see the angle With which this sunlight reaches this Arctic area. Okay, यहाँ पर अच्छी तरीके से ध्यान रखो. ठीक है. I will just re re this remove the annotation, then you will see. Okay, look at here. The sunlight from this region, okay, coming directly to this region, right? Or you can see the overhead sunlight is there here. So maximum penetration is there. But here you can see in this region, whatever the sunlight is there, na, it is coming in the kind of what thick atmosphere yahan par atmosphere ka length is minimum but here the length of atmosphere is very 
large okay so whatever the heat was there whatever the warmth was there in that sunlight in those radiation is already absorbed so that's why even in the summer when this entire arctic region is tilted towards the sun because of this absorption of this warmth or the absorption of the energy from this radiation by the earth's atmosphere the summer are also chilly in this region arctic region okay arctic region mein summer bhi bahut hi chilly hai right so obviously these things these two things will contribute to the cold atmosphere of the tundra so that's why this is again making extreme cold is making tundra tundra okay next is what the part is the precipitation okay as i have as we have seen that less number of uh, the precipitation is there in the form of snow or uh, the rain so almost 15 to 75 sorry 15 to 25 cm per year is the low amount of precipitation here so that is a very uh, little snow is there so that's why it is called as a desert but it is cold so that's why it is called as cold desert okay ye thanda hai iske liye kya bol jate hai isko cold desert bola jata hai right not only that it is also a complex mosaic of wetlands and the dry lands okay when it will be a wetlands when the summer in the summer when this ice melts to some extent it will form some of the wetlands when in the winter uh, everything will be a kind of an uh, this frozen at that time it will find some of the dry lands so various such wet and dry lands will be there in this tundra region okay and the, at the last the part which is making this tundra a tundra that is the chilly winds whatever the winds are there now there are very chilly winds are there bahut hi thandi winds hai yahan par right so these are some of the parts okay of the physico biological characteristic we have seen that what is making this tundra tundra what are the biological the fauna is there what is the biological flora is there in this particular region right now we'll have to the next move to the next part okay that is the problems which are faced by the biotic life okay hame hame next part dekhna padega iska jo ki kya hai jo problems hai jo face kiye jate hain by by the life which is present in this region okay that can be plant life that can be animal life okay so obviously this is one of the uh, the problem that is the freezing temperature then you can see almost everything is frozen okay you can see Let's see the poor quality of soil. Whatever the soil is there, okay, this soil is very much poor. Okay, it is not have big. Why? See, the richness of the soil increases when the organisms are able to ferment it. Okay, not only ferment, it's also able to uh, this microbial digestion. Be agar hota hai kisi particular uh, the organic matter ka. Okay, because of that microbial activity, this soil gets richer. Okay, but as we have already uh, this seen that. because of the lower temperature the soil is not having that desired temperature so even the microbes are not fully functional so the enzymes are also not fully functional so that's why whatever the soil is there in this region it is what uh, not as nutritious as it should be okay so that's why uh, these very few nutrition is there okay low nutrition we uh, we will get from this soil so that's why it is called as poor quality of soil okay कुछ अच्छा मिलता ही नहीं उस सॉइल से इसलिए उसको पुअर क्वालिटी बोल जाता है क्योंकि क्या जब माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एक्टिव रहेंगे उस सॉइल में तभी वो ज्यादा रीच होंगे ओके दी ऑर्गेनिज्म बैक्टीरियाज दी ब्लू ग्रीन अलगीज एंड ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स व्हेन दे विल एक्टिव तभी वो क्या होगा हाई क्वालिटी होगा बट बिकॉज ऑफ द लो टेम्परेचर दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर नॉट एबल टू एक्टिव ओके दी एंजाइम्स आर नॉट एबल टू एक्टिव एट दैट पर्टिकुलर द टेम्परेचर so less warmth is there so as we have seen the temperature sunlight is come hota hai hamesha to that's why because of the less warmth uh, again the organisms find it very difficult to deal with that cold temperature precipitation is less so less number of water or the snow less amount of water and snow is there so water availability is less okay that is also a difficulty to deal with uneven top and ground surface means whatever the surface is there you can see it is uneven okay कहीं पर पहाड़ी है हियर ऑल्सो अन इवन सर्फेस इज देयर हियर ऑल्सो अन इवन सर्फेस इज देयर राइट सो दिस इज दी अन इवन सर्फेस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो नॉट रीजन विच इज सुटेबल काइंड ऑफ सुटेबल काइंड ऑफ फॉर ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके नॉट ओनली दिस द परमा फ्रॉस्ट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द बिग प्रॉब्लम विच द ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन दिस रीजन हैव टू फेस ओके वॉट हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ दी परमा फ्रॉस इज एज वी नो द फ्रोजन आइस ओके बिलो दिस सॉइल सर्फेस okay it it is frozen for at least around 2 years okay what it has permafrost mein kya hota hai it has the soil sand 
gravel into it and at the last frozen ice in the form of frozen ice this is going to form what the entire whatever these things are there here all of these things will be there soil sand gravel and the uh, the water in the form of ice will be there right so these not only this highly cold chilly winds are also there okay these chilly and cold winds are also makes this organisms living difficult okay and less number of trees and lack of can we uh, canopy is okay at least we have seen that there are also almost no trees are there so lack of canopy is there so when the lack of canopy is there then these organisms okay like suppose this is uh, the polar bear uh, this polar bear is there okay suppose we are attacking him he will not find any trees or canopy to hide like in the jungle okay wo kahin par chhup nahi sakta he can he can be easily spotted in this entire tundra because there is nothing to hide there no canopy of tree is there right so these are some of the problems which are faced by the animals which are there in this tundra okay now we will have to move on to the next part that is the adaptations of the biotic life okay kon kon se adaptations hai okay bahut hi simple hai these lectures slides have already made it very easier okay animal adaptations kya hai warm winter coats for freezing cold okay you can see whatever these coats of their hairs are there okay everyone has a kind of a furry coat okay now that furry coat on their body will make it easier for these to withstand the temperature okay so the caribou and the musk ox and the caribou is there na this caribou have whatever the hair is there it is hair is having kind of a hollow inside iska jo hair hota hai na you can draw a hair like this it is like hollow inside andar se wo hollow hota hai right so as it is hollow inside so it is able to form a layer of these hairs on its body which will prevent the transfer of cold okay Co le low cold temperature ko transfer hi nahi hone ta inside the body so that's why it maintains the high temperature of its body this caribou right also the musk oxen whatever this you can see the very thick under fur is there Wha below this fur there are under fur is there also a small layer of the small hairs is also there so this is the warm winter coats are there you will observe in these animals okay so this is one of the adaptation heat efficient shape of the body see you can see this is the smaller hair is there so its body is very compact okay so it is the heat efficient it is not like it is uh, spreaded out through entire the area so uh, uh, all the body is uh, the exposed to the cold temperature it's not like that the body is compressed like this okay very few surface area is available or very few uh, less surface area is exposed to the the cold temperature right so that is one thing arctic fox is also the same example slow rate of growth is meant it will see uh, if this whatever these plants and animals are there they, if they have very high grow rate of growth then they will require lots of nutrients in less amount of time okay but high amount of nutrients in less amount of time for the plants is very difficult in the tundra okay agar plants ko jaldi grow karna hai high rate of growth chahiye agar plant ko agar hai plant ka then kya hoga plant ko bahut sara nutrient lagega kam time mein for high rate of growth okay but that is not going to be possible in the tundra par ye tundra mein to nahi ho sakta okay so that's why the plants which are there okay they are having slow rate of growth okay so that's why they can accommodate for this nutrient shortage so they will collect these nutrients over tens of years okay bahut sare saalon mein ye nutrients thoda thoda karke collect karenge okay so that is also an adaptation okay itna simplify karke nahi milega aapko kahin par that is my guarantee okay i'm going to share this lecture on youtube as well so everyone will know okay next is the less frequent reproduction see for reproduction it requires very high amount of energy right for a biological species so by doing the less frequent reproduction they are avoiding that wastage of energy to survive okay so that's why this is again one of the uh, the adaptation next is the camouflage okay camouflage means for camouflage is to get protected from the other predators okay you can see this fox is camouflage in this snow it is also for protection of this fox from other snow leopards maybe and it is also for uh, this body can say camouflaging himself to catch a prey okay the prey will easily you know, prey will not easily spot this fox okay, because of the white color same case with the polar bear is also there right 
then then you will ask uh, why this color is there we will come to that point okay so the camouflage is not going to be occur in the uh, this winter only okay when in the summer when maybe this ice is going to melt at that time the surrounding region will be a brown color so at that time these animals will change the color of their fur to what to brown color okay so ultimately to get to match up with the environment okay environment se match karne ke liye wo apne fur ka color change karenge right next is the hibernation now the hibernation is a kind of concept so see basically what is almost for 8 months winter is there so for that 8 month it is very difficult to survive for this animals okay like the polar bear okay so what this polar bear do this polar bear eat a lot in the four months of summer okay and they just go for a kind of a deep sleep in the uh, the winter for eight months okay and what is the case in this hibernation the very slow heartbeat is there okay i think like almost eight heartbeats are there in a minute okay and respiration rate is also slow okay the metabolism rate the rate of metabolism is also very low for the polar bear which is in hibernation okay so that will make these polar bear able to survive for that almost eight months bina kuch khaye piye bahut sare this month tak wo reh sakta hai okay although it, it may come what you can say out of that hibernation for some time okay but they will they will decrease the rate of metabolism to such an extent that they will be able to survive for a very uh, longer period of time that is the almost eight month of winter okay so that is the hibernation okay And the second is the snow as an insulation see some of the animals cannot undergo the hibernation okay so so what they will do they will construct some tunnels and nest and they will utilize this snow to insulate the entire tunnel okay so that the the whatever this the cold winds are there or whatever the predators are there they will not be able to go inside okay so the using of the snow as an insulator for their tunnels or the snow uh, for the, or for their tunnels and the nest is going to be happened by these uh, rat like animals that is the wolves and the lemmings ye lemming hai ye uski nest bol sakte hai ya phir tunnel bol sakte so what he has done he has just insulated this area with the snow itself okay so snow se hi usne insulate kar diya now the he is able to survive inside that tunnel okay andar ja ke wo kya hoga Te- uh, inside temperature of the tunnel will be kind of what uh, this bearable to that particular wolves or the uh, lemmings okay so that is again one of the adaptations the snow as an insulation now these were the animal adaptations let's see some of the plant adaptations and complete this part okay the tundra biome last is the pa- plant adaptation means what perennial characteristic perennial means what living for very long time okay so they are having very high or very large amount large amount of time to survive okay so they will collect these nutrients very slowly okay so the perennial plants are there more than two year life is there heat efficiency means what see this is very interesting example ye bahut hi interesting example hai okay the interesting example is what like this woolly loose wood ओके नो वुली लूज बट तो ये है ये एग्जाम्पल कौन सा है आर्कटिक ड्राइड ओके सी हियर द सन इज हियर ओके सो नाउ सी दी वट एव दी फ्लावर्स आर देर दे आर फेसिंग हियर ओके नाउ थ्रू आउट द डे वॉट विल हैपन एज द सन विल ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट दीज फ्लावर्स विल चेंज देयर रोटेशन फ्रॉम दिस रीजन टू दिस रीजन यू कैन सी नाउ दी सन इज हियर सो द प्लांट्स हैव रोटेटेड एंड दे हैव शिफ्टेड देयर रोटेशन टूवर्ड्स दिस सन ओके so this is one of the adaptation okay so they will like rotate from like a dish or okay, or the dish antennas they will rotate from this side to this side from uh, this rise of the sun to the sunset okay they will rotate revolve like this okay for what for having the maximum amount of sunlight maximum amount of sunlight ko pane ke liye kya karenge these flowers are going to revolve so that is for the heat efficiency not only that protective cover see some of the plants are there you can see this is a part which is a furry part is there right so this is the loose or the loose wart is there or the louse wart is there for woolly louse wart is there so it is as we have a kind of a fur coating on our body 
we we wear a fur coating on our body this plant itself grows a fur coating on its body that is the loose this uh, what you can say woolly loose spot okay now what this fur will do obviously this fur will protect this plant from the cold winds okay cold winds se protect karega next is the nutrition labrador tea ki bahut hi acha interesting story ye yeah, this is the labrador tea okay wo, wo, labrador tea plant is what this plant is going to do this plant is never going to shed his or its leaf ये प्लांट खुद के लीव शेड ही नहीं करेगा द प्लांट विल नॉट लीव वट यू कैन से शेड इट्स लिव ओके वाई ऑब्वियसली इफ द प्लांट नीड्स टू शेड इट्स लिव देन वी द प्लांट विल बी रिक्वायर टू री ग्रो दैट लीव ओके सो दैट विल रिक्वायर एन एडिशनल अमाउंट ऑफ न्यूट्रिय ओके सो बाय नॉट शेडिंग दीज लिव वट दिस प्लांट द लेबरोडोर टी प्लांट डू इट इज ट्राइंग टू सेव द न्यूट्रिय वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बोथ बोथ एग्जाम्पल this is the uh, the arctic dryad and this example is the labrador tea okay two example bahut interesting hai achhi theek hai ek plant to jahan se ne wahan se rotate hota hai dish ke tarah okay usko bolte hai arctic dryad okay or the arctic flora and another plant hai ki wo kabhi khud ke leaves hi nahi shade karta to save the nutrients okay so this is one of some of the adaptations by the uh, the plants in the uh, the stundar region okay and at the last is the evolutionary adaptation evolutionary adaptation kya hai it is like the prostate growth forms means some of the plants has this kind of prostate growth form which is a uh, plants form like this okay as a radiation form mein plants hote hai iske theek hai see this is what we know as a plant okay ba the branch will be there okay stalk will be there right but this will require again this has more number of problems in the the tundra region high winds will be there cold winds will be there so the prostate growth forms are like they will be yahan par hi okay okay this will be at the bottom okay near to the surface you all of whatever this plants and whatever the other parts of that particular plant are there they will be near to the surface only they will be not high in the sky okay zyada height pe ye plant growth nahi karega aise jo plants ke form hai that is are the prostrate growth forms are there okay that is in uh, one of the advantage uh, uh, that gives an one of the advantage to these plants by what as loss or high amount of warmth will be there which will be trapped onto the upper surface of this soil so by having this kind of prostrate form they are trying to use this uh, the trapped heat or trapped warmth in this soil upper layer of the soil okay by having this prostrate growth from form okay so these were some of the adaptations by the plants okay so i hope we have studied this in detail and in a simpler language but even if it is simpler that does not mean it does not have that important parts okay almost all the important points are there in this only right but i have simplified everything for you okay in different parts the next lecture will be on this alpine tundra agla lecture jo hoga hamara alpine tundra ka hoga do let me know that whether these type of lectures are helping you to improve or to increase or to uh, the what you the to increase the overall understanding of the entire concepts okay whether are they helping as compared to the uh, the previous format of the lectures and also convey if you have any doubts on the telegram group or on to the common group which we have so we will stop here we will meet on to the next lecture on the alpine tundra tomorrow till then have a great day bye bye